welcome. This is Atemen reporting live from our four meters below sea level studio in downtown Almere. Today I want to talk a little bit about the top 500 and especially the European presence in the top 500. The top 500, as you know, is a list that's produced two times a year and the current version, the November 2020 edition has just been published. So we wanted to see how did Europe do. So let's first start with the top 10. <coughs> this is the current top 10. And at the first place is still the Fujaku, which was already there six months ago. Um, but it has strengthened its position because it has even increased the amount of uh, flops that it can now uh, produce. The uh, people at uh, Riken have uh, expanded the machine with another 5% cores. So now they are up to 440 petaflops of performance in the top 500, which is really fast. The second system in the top 500 is the Summit in the USA. Nothing new there. Sierra, next one, uh, position three, also in the USA. And then everybody was waiting and is eager to know when will the Chinese come with the next exascale system. One thing we know for sure, it will not be in November 2020 because it didn't appear in this list. However, they still have very fast machines. On number four in the top 10 is the Sunway Tau Light. Um, then on position five, we have the Celine, which is a machine which appeared six months ago. It's from NVIDIA, a, a, a vendor. And um, it has moved up a few positions because um, they also added uh, some hardware. The second Chinese machine on the list is the Tianhe 2A. And uh, then we come to the first uh, European machine, which is the Jules, the booster module from the Jules. And actually it's a new machine. So it's a, an entry into the top 10 and the highest entry into the top 500. The Jules, um, and then especially the booster uh, module um, that's implemented in uh, Jullich by the Jullich Supercomputing Center. Um, it's a, a machine that came out of uh, previous uh, projects, uh, the, especially the deep, deeper and deepest uh, projects. And they see it as a kind of uh, um, way that they want to reach exascale. So this is a kind of, you could say also a kind of pre-exascale uh, system, but then a German one. Um, Jullie hopes to host one of the Euro HPC exascale systems in 2023. The uh, next uh, system uh, is the number eight. It's HPC5 at INA. It's the first industrial used machine in the top 500, and it's in Italy. Then we get the Frontera in the USA, which was already there last time. Another new entry is the Daman 7 machine in Saudi Arabia at Ramco, and that's uh, also a, a, an industrial used machine. So two European systems in the top 10. Let's look to the next 10 systems. So from position 11 to position 20, there are even five European systems. So Europe is doing there even better. On position 11 is the Marconi at, at Cinica. Last time it was in the top 10, now it's just dropped out because of the new entries. Um, and, uh, but it's at Cinica and they will get their Leonardo pre exascale supercomputer in the next say six months. So they will be back in the top 10, they will be back uh, somewhere next year, perhaps November. Um, the next system is the Peace Dant at uh, CSCS in uh, Switzerland. Uh, and it, that was one, at one point in time the fastest system in Europe and it was at the, in, the, in the top three. Um, 13 Trinity USA, 14 ABCI in uh, Japan, and then we get another two European machines, actually two German ma machines, the Supermac NG, which was already there in the previous list at the uh, LRZ in uh, Munich. And then we get to the Hawk, which is a new entry and which is from the high, sh high performance uh, center in Stuttgart, HLRS. And actually um, that means that now all three German supercomputer centers, the big supercomputer centers that are in the Gauss center, um, do have an entry in the top 20. So this shows that even without Europe, Germany is uh, capable of 
having three machines in the top 20 basically when they want. So that's uh, news from Germany. Then the position 17 is the Lassen in the USA. Then we have another system in Europe that's uh, was already there um, in France and it's uh, the Panchea and it's also an industrial use machine. Then number 19 and 20 are the uh, Toki Sora in Japan and the Kori system in the US. So that's the top 20. <coughs> but now let's now look have a, a look at the development over time. So that's this uh, figure. And um, in this we first have the, the number of uh, systems. So the green is the number of systems that are located in Europe in the top uh, 500. And if we look, we see that it's, it, it started out relatively high in 2014, then it went down and now it is basically, um, let's say, stable for already a certain uh, uh, number of years. And today we are at 100 systems, well, 101. So one out of five systems in the top 500 is now located in Europe. The um, overall complete total performance of those 100 systems, if you just add it, oh, you can't really do that, but if you want to add it, then you get up to 460 petaflops. So all 101 systems combined, peak, uh, limpack performance is 460. Sounds like a lot, almost half an extra flop, but remember the Fujaku on its own already had 440. So the 100 European machines are not, are just slightly faster in total than the Fujaku on its own. The um, next thing I want to look is to have a look at the your HPC systems. So these are the systems that are located in your HPC countries, one of the 32, which is not the same as Europe, it's a little bit smaller. So, and we list here the, uh, the, the, the systems and we uh, list uh, the relative performance. So the, um, as you can see, the, the, uh, the number of systems has slowly declined over the years, but now since a few years, it has been slowly growing. So now today there are 86 systems in the top 500, which are located in the Euro HPC country. The overall performance of that is 70%, which means 70% of the overall uh, performance of all systems combined in the top 500 is located in a Euro HPC country, which is pretty good, I think. And, but of course, that's the top 500. So, but how is, are the Euro HPC countries doing in the top 10 and the top 100? Because that's where the real big guys are. So here on top, we see the, the, the top 100 and how many systems your HPC countries have in the top 500. And here we see the top 10. I just enlarge it a little bit. And then we see that um, <coughs> today, about uh, 28 of the 100 um, systems, the first 100 systems in the top 500 are from your HPC countries. And we already saw a number in the uh, top 20. This is the uh, numbers in the, let's say, top 10. And we can see that overall Europe has more or less always about two systems in the top 10 Euro HPC countries. And it's not different today. So that was it for the presentation about, uh, a very short presentation about uh, Euro HPC in the top uh, 500 in the November 2020 list. Um, if you want to see more about uh, our coverage from HPC events and interviews with people in HPC, then please subscribe to our channel. For Premier Magazine, this was Hot